Hi guys, my name is Mengs. And I'm Mecha. And we are here to bring you chapter 3 of Let's Play Radiant Dawn Iron Man Run. So, when we last... No, no, <laughs> no. No, sorry, I didn't mean... Why did I say no, Iron please. Man? please, thanks. No. <laughs> I think Stop I was, it or I'll cut you with a scissor. I didn't mean it. I don't know why I said Iron Man. I guess it's just like reflexes, I guess. Scissor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I fucking... I hurt my hand with a scissor. I'm not going to explain how I did it, but I stuck a... It's a private. Did you know you're bleeding? Uh, That's the blood on your sleeves there. I, 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 I got a lot of blood, actually, on my sleeves. Here, try wrapping this cloth around your wound. Yeah, yeah, me and Mikai have something in common. So while we last <laughs> left off, the, the Dawn Brigade, they got put in prison for being bad units. Um, so, <laughs> so this is why I'm never in prison. <laughs> so Soth was like, oh my god, I gotta free you guys again. And he's like, hey, I, I brought, like, equipment for you guys. Like, just just exactly like the equipment you had before you got in prison, because I'm a good unit. Um, and Kurt Naga's like, hey, can I join? Sure. Kaga did it first. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this chapter is actually sort of tricky. Um, it's, uh, yeah, right, these guys, wait, wait, what's, what, why aren't Leonardo doing jail? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck? Where did it come from? Look at the at the lower right. There's like no place to walk through, but they somehow got in there. <laughs> just wall. They just teleported in. <laughs> Everyone teleported in. Teleport behind you. <laughs> oh, the door was open. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I think Aaron let them through or something. Like in terms of the story, I yeah, can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> borrowed. I borrowed. So we're finally out of jail, uh, Mecha Specialty, and it's time to uh, to escape, uh, you know, because that's, a, that's an original concept right here. So uh, welcome, guys, to Chapter 1-3. So Escape Chapter is actually, I think, I think this, alongside, like, the Desert Tiger chapters, is actually one of the more tricky chapters in the Dawn Brigade, because uh, there, you got so many squishy units, and since, er, like, you want to escape with everyone, you have to, like, get them through this gauntlet. There's a lot of reinforcements, and there's a lot of guys. A lot of guys here get one shot. Um, like Leonardo gets one shot by a lot of things. Laura gets one shot by a lot of things. Mikai gets one, one shot, shot by really Leonardo. Um. Oh yeah, this guy has 24 attack. Uh, this Leo has. This guy has 15 speed. He doubles. Yeah. Okay. That's not one shot. Leonardo uh, doesn't survive 24 attack. What the hell? Leonardo squishy as shit. I'm gonna show you. Uh, where's Leonardo? Lower part. Yeah. Yeah. 17. Oh yeah. yeah well, he's really squishy. Yeah. He's super squishy. Yeah. And if uh, any of these guys die, you get a game over. Any of these guys die, you get a game over. You cannot lose. Even Ileana? Wow. <laughs> I think even Ileana. I'm not sure, but I know if any of the number gate guys die, you get a game over. Uh, so the boss in himself is actually not part of the uh, escape tile. Uh, it's guarded by a longbow archer. I think he is on like an easier difficulty. Ma yeah, that I think so. Difference. On um, on maniac mode, he moves, and in, he also comes with a discipline scroll that I'm gonna try to steal. Mecha likes to sell it, apparently. Um, yeah, I do. But I, I know that. I don't know. <laughs> just uh, clairvoyance, I guess. I just like to sell everything. <laughs> yeah, you, Mecha's just a greedy little Jew. Um, <laughs> so I, I like discipline, though. In some cases, it's nice to like get your weapon ranks up, but I guess that selling it is also nice. Um, I will say though, Leonardo has like. E rank and bows at base or something, or like D rank, and he can't use the steel boat if you can't. <laughs> yeah, discipline would actually be sort of nice on him. It would be nice to put on Lagoose too, because Lagoose, like, they don't benefit from it, but uh, getting Lagoose weapon ranks up in this game is such a huge deal because they get so much more damage from it, and it takes takes a long ass time to train their weapon ranks. So if it could be Accuracy applied, if it could be applied to Lagoose, it would be really good. Yeah. Um, anyway, so. Um, this chapter, let's talk about the bonus experience requirements. So you get 80 uh, bonus experience just for clearing it. If you want to get the 40 bonus experience, you have to t clear it in 10 turns. However, there is also an additional uh, thing that you can do. Uh, for each of your player units that escapes, uh, including Mikaya, um, you get 12.5 bonus experience up to a total of 100. Uh, and you also have these two units, Amy, who has kept magic for some reason, and uh, the mysterious Kurth, who's totally not a dragon. And if both if, if both of the, uh, them escape the tile, you have to direct them to do it. They won't do it on their own, funnily enough. Um, you get 50 bonus experience for each of them, up to a total of 100. So you can earn quite a bit of bonus experience if everyone escapes, like 200 plus. You can get like 280, you can get like 300 and, 320, I think, if my Manx math isn't completely screwing me over. So that's a lot of bonus experience to get, and I think we get access to it next chapter. So yep. that would be nice. Um, not that you really want to feel yeah. a lot of bonus experience to Dawn Brigade, but you know, some of them might benefit from it. Yeah, the bonus experience is like, it's very different depending on the difficulty. Like on easy mode, you just need the, the partner units like Kurth and Amy to survive and you get like 200 for each or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in like normal mode, they have to escape for, to get the bonus experience, the same for hard mode. And then on like 
normal mode, you get like 25 if, if for the player units that escape, and on hard, you get 12.5. It's so different depending on the difficulty. It's really weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you take too long, you're going to get a bunch of reinforcements coming from behind and hunting you down. So you actually got to move a little bit, which is why this chapter is sort of tricky, because it's very easy to move Leonardo or Laura, say, like into the range of one of these guys. Like one of them has like a javelin and shit. And they're just like one javelin away from dying, at least Laura and Mikai are. So that's why, like, you can really fuck this. Uh, you can really get fucked if you don't properly you can plan. Really fuck this chapter. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I failed like 10 times or something uh, when I first played it. I yeah. Uh, anyway, we got a new unit to talk about. Uh, let's talk about everyone's uh, favorite little diabetic, uh, Ileana. So, um, she totally has di diabetes, by the way. Like, seriously. that Like, she gets dizzy and shit. <laughs> diabetes? That's like sugar deficiency. or Yeah, or yeah. She, she, she gets dizzy a lot and she has to eat. I, th I always thought it was more logical to assume she has a tapeworm. Uh, that eats, like the food in her stomach or something. That could be that could be the case, or she might just be you know a lying, dishonest girl that likes food. You know that too. That too. So Ileana. So I said in a couple chapters back that Ileana has really poor availability. This isn't the truth. Uh, Mecca corrected me. It's just because I misremembered what Mr. Antonan said in my first playthrough. Uh, what makes Ileana tricky to use isn't her availability. Her availability is actually pretty good because she's both available in the Dombrigan arc and the Grail Mercenaries arc. The, the problem is that uh, after she leaves at the end of Act 1, she comes into the Grail Mercenaries uh, arc with her same stats. So let's say you don't use her, she joins as a level 12 Thunder Mage, whereas everyone in the Grail Mercenaries is like promoted with decent stats, except for maybe, I don't know, Rolf. Um, and even if you train her up, even if you like get her to a Thunder Sage, her stats aren't that great. Um, so you have to like put a lot of investment into her, and she's still not that great. Uh, so that makes her really tricky to use, even though she has great availability, sort of like ends up working against her. Uh, but, you know, it's because there's a lot of people like Ileana, I went and checked her popularity ratings. She's like number 21 on the straw poll. Uh, she's not super popular, I thought she'd be way more popular actually, because she's like cute and she has a skirt. But, you know, I guess there's just so many other guys that's like named Haran Tibari. In this game, that's <laughs> so many of those, yeah. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of cool characters and Nephany, of course. So you know, she she kind of gets there's a lot of cool characters and Nephany, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, people love Nephany. She's like number four or something. It's stupid. <laughs> We're gonna use that dumb. Oh, it's pausing funny. the video. Yeah, right. What can we say about Liana? Well, um, everything about her is bad. I'd say <laughs> that's the thing. Like her, her. Okay, her bases aren't terrible for the Dawn Brigade arc. I'll give her that. Um, but the problem with her is that she wills Thunder Magic, and Thunder Magic is really shit in Radiant Dawn for some reason. It's effect uh, effective against Viverns in this game, but you don't really fight a lot of Viverns, and it's effective against Dragons, but you don't really fight a lot of Dragons until the endgame. And Thunder Magic just got really shit stats for some reason. If you compare the stats of like the Thunder and Elf Thunder Tome to like the Elfire and Fire Tome or the Wind and Elwind, it's just got really shitty hit and, and might. I don't really know why, I guess they just felt like they needed to nerf it because being effective against Viverns is good or something. Um, now, a lot of people point out that Mikaya has a high... Uh, sorry, Emiliana. I, I confused them. I think it's pretty obvious why. Um, I think a lot of people point out that she has like a high strength growth, but with 6 space strength, she has enough strength to wield Elf Thunder without bad penalty anyway. And with her speed growth of 30%, she's slow as balls. Like, she's not going to double anything. And sure, there's a lot of characters in Radiant Dawn who doesn't double anything, but it still sucks to not be able to double anything. And she's also pretty squishy. Um... So, I just think that Ileana is just a unit that's really unfortunate, because she's hard to use if you want to use her in Act 3. She has a bad magic type, uh, her growth rates aren't really that stellar, because she's really slow. Um, she has Shade as a personal skill, which I don't think really does a whole lot. I haven't really done, like, the... I haven't really investigated it, so I don't really know how effective it is in this game, but it wasn't exactly something you could rely on in Path of Radiance, so I don't think it's going to be the case here either. So, if you want to use Ileana, you're sort of, like, doing an uphill battle, in my opinion. She's just really tricky to use, but I will rate her 2 out of 5 stars because she at least can do some reliable ship damage in the Dawn Brigade arc. Like, she's at least better than a hand axe or a javelin, I'll give her that. But, yeah, she dies really quickly, she has a bad magic type, she's squishy, she's slow, and she joins in Act 3 as a shit unit. So, not a great unit overall. But she's cute, so she gets bonus points for being cute. How <laughs> many bonus points, though? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all a lot. 
<laughs> I actually think Eliana at base level, like right now, is actually a decent unit for a little bit, like not too long. Uh, there's way too much competition, like broken units in the Dawn Brigade that you get a little bit that will outclass her, just like everyone else in Dawn Brigade. But right now, I think she's okay. She's a little squishy with like 22 HP and 3 defense, but it's still miles better than like Leonardo, for example. So I don't mind her too much. 13 base speed is decent. Uh, it actually doubles some enemies in this chapter. She can actually one route, I think, a fighter somewhere. It's like ridiculous when compared to a lot of other people. Like no one else but Soth can really do that. Even Nolan can it. So even Nolan can. So pretty decent in that regard. And well, base of 12 magic is also pretty decent. She has some resistance, which is usually lower than defense. And of course, she can attack at range, so she doesn't get countered a whole lot. I actually like that about her. In fact, even the speed run from Radiant Dawn at one point had like strats where Iliana took over from Edward to kill some enemies in the next chapter. It was actually fairly reliable, which is ridiculous when you think about it. But uh, you're right, she is slow in the long term. Her speed growth is 30%, which is just awful. So once she joins the Grail Mercenaries in part three, in like 3-2, she's just slower than your slowest units. She's like, I, I would be surprised if she had 20 speed, which is insanely bad. So not a great unit in part three, but okay on the short term in part one. She also helps you transfer things from the Dawn Brigade to the Grill Mercenaries, but I'm not really going to factor that into her rating because I don't think it's really something she does. It's more something the game does. And I guess we'll talk about it. She's like a merchant in Gaiden. <laughs> yeah, she's, it's funny because she's actually um, she's actually part of the merchant group, I think, story-wise. So it actually fits her character too, in a way. But yeah, I don't think she's very good overall. I would give her like maybe three stars for part one and then like zero stars for part three because she's just so bad so i'm gonna like i'm gonna even it out to like a two star rating overall i don't think she's very good but she's usable if you want to make her a little better though you could either uh, try to work on getting her transfers from radiant dawn uh she's i think she's kind of close to capping things but has like a very low chance to uh, i think from the top of my head it's like magic speed strength uh, all those stats can be capped but have a very low chance to so if you can do some fine tuning with like stat, bo stat boosters or uh, the bands or just creativeness with bonus experience you can get her to cap some stats and for example she can join with like 15 speed instead which is significantly better it doubles for a little more time so that could be good uh you can also uh, insta promote her with a master seal if you really wanted to because she is base level 12 so that it's like it's like a bad effect because it makes her speed gain kind of slow but it also lets her master seal and do some more short-term damage this is not very good in long term anyway i don't think it really hurts her much to promote early so that could also be a way I thought there were other ways, but the point is, short-term, okay, long-term, bad. Two stars. Yeah. All right. Uh, and people still want to know what Mr. Antonin said about Ileana that made me censor him. You know what I like? What do you like? I like... That doesn't mean everybody likes that. Shum... God damn it. All right. Um, I don't censor. remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, there was something about miniskirts and boots. I don't know. I don't know. I think I said that it. That's not like something you would censor. I know. <laughs> you a lot of you, shit. No, it was really bad. Like, he said, like, things that would get me demonetized. I don't know why. He said something. I don't remember. So, like, Sigurd? I, no, not like that. I, I don't know. I don't remember. So, you're going to really like this side. I've actually optimized my turn one strategy. No so, way. Yes, way. So, I, I start by. Wow, cancel. Thanks. Um, wow. Block based strat. So, um, what I do is I start off by killing this guy with Nolan, and I also use my trade to get the Thaney and the Wind Edge over to Mikaya. Neat. And because the Weapon Triangle not being in this game, Nolan hits this guy pretty reliably. And then I'm like, okay, uh, so Soth is pretty like in a bad position, so let's shove him. Ooh, you're actually going left, interesting. So... I always just go right, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I, li I like going left because it's easier to recruit Aaron. Um, Oh, I can see that. I forgot where he comes from in this uh, in this mode, because I think in normal mode he comes from your, where you started. But and then um, I use uh, Ileana to shove Edward into this bush in range of this fighter, which he one rounds. And then I put uh, Laura right here, and I keep the keep the green units uh, in the back. Amy moves here, but they won't actually move anywhere on their own, which is kind of funny. There you go. <laughs> Easy. That's a good Edward. It's my address actually getting pretty good. If he continues getting yeah. this good, he, that would be cool. Uh, strength, skills, so yep. fast. Jesus. Yep, yep, yep. This is this is what can happen with Edward if you get strength and speed on all your level ups. <laughs> I think he did get it in literally every level up. He has so. gotten strength and speed on every level up. I, Plus, I call it. I still think he's going to be bad in the long term, despite all of this. Probably yeah. So uh, in here comes Aaron. We'll talk about him when we recruit him. 
Um, gotta recruit him with Laura. And on on Maniac mode, he doesn't say anything. Like, I think uh, in the other modes, he goes like, Hi, I please recruit me with the cute healer, hint, hint. But now he's like, hey, I'm just here. Uh, that's how they increase difficulty, I guess. That about sums it up, yeah. Yeah, so um, this guy actually doesn't move. So I'm going to place Nolan in his range with the hand axe, but I'm going to attack this guy. 68 hit. Yeah, it's a bit unreliable, but yeah. Hand axe got pretty shit hit, uh, I think, in this game, if I'm not completely mistaken. Actually, it got pretty good hit. I guess his biorhythm just sucks. No, wow, he's got good biorhythm. Never mind. Maybe there's leadership stars or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, right. We haven't talked about authority stars. This, this guy have no authority stars, I think. Okay, no. I guess you're don't. Nolan just sucks then. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> People always go like, oh, my God, if Micaiah just had three I mean, authority I stars. Might, I think you might be expecting more hit because it's a soldier, but he doesn't lose speed like most soldiers from other games do. So. And there's no weapon triangle advantage. From yeah. Hand, so that's probably why. But yeah, people are like, oh, man, if you only had authority stars from Micaiah, dude, you think 6 or 9% extra hit in a void would have made the Dawn Brigade not suck? Like, what? Really? I don't think so. Um... So I think I'm gonna do. I might heal. I need. I need. Actually, need to get Edward. I'm actually Leadership gonna do stars give five. By the way, hmm. Leadership stars give five. Oh, is it each. five? Okay, that's yeah, a lot. It's five then. in this game. But yeah. The problem with leadership in this game is it only works on the commander and no one else. So yes, that or is. Or rather, not that it doesn't work on them, but they, they, only the stars on the commander work. So at some point, you'll have like multiple people with authority stars, but only one is gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, Kanegus joins with five, and then you don't get any of them, which yeah, is really annoying. Yeah, why even give him five, then? So, yeah, I'm placing uh, Mikai in range of Soth to give him some extra avoidance, and I put Leonardo here so that uh, Iron will go for him, and then I need to place uh, Laura in such a way that she can recruit our Iron on the next turn. Like so. Yeah. So, this is sort of a scary enemy phase for Nolan. This is sort of why I like giving him the Draco Shield, because without the Draco Shield, he has a chance of death here. But since he doesn't... <laughs> nice try, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? It's great. So, I want to talk to... I want to talk to Aaron, but also heal on the same well, turn. you can do both. So. I know, but then I gotta place Nolan in such a way. Like, I gotta place him here yeah. or something. But I also want... to fuck, yeah. I want Sol to also be here, because I want him to pull the boss, and then I can put Micaiah... I can put Micaiah here? No, wait, I can't. No, I need to shove her if I want to do that. Because then I can, like, Thanny bomb this guy, which would be really nice. These guys don't move, I'm pretty sure. I think they... Oh, well, considering your position this turn, they should move. They, or they, rather, they should move. I, I think I've seen them move at some point. Maybe they do eventually, but yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna make... I gotta optimize this turn, because I think if I put Nolan here... I can, like, do damage to this guy, but there's a chance I probably will miss. I think I'm going to move Soth first. Um, so I think I'm actually going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Going to kill this guy. Yeah, what's Nolan going to do? Heal himself? He's going to go down here. Let's see. Like so. Well, that makes sense, I guess. And then Leonardo can kill the guy. Yeah, and then I'm going to do this. Talk first, yeah. Aaron? I can't believe it. It is you. Hey, bat units. Yeah, yeah. Get we're back to jail, bat unit. <laughs> Please go back to jail. I'm not sure. This seems like the heal staff heals for a little bit more in this game. Because, uh, I only, actually, maybe she just has really high base magic. Um, anyway, let's talk about uh, Aaron. Oh, boy. Uh, check his popularity. is like number 25 at this point, so not a super popular unit. I always thought he was blonde. Then I was informed he had green hair. Color blindness, I guess. <laughs> I'm a green-haired unit. I'm a green-haired unit! So, here's uh, Aaron. <clears throat> He's bad. Um. <laughs> uh, I'll take on Aaron. So, yeah. I mean, he's a soldier, which is like, ooh, yeah, what a cool concept. Um, Hopefully, a soldier that's never been done before. Never been done before. Except Lucas. Except for Nephany. Except for... Except that those are the only two, I guess, at this point. Kaga did it first. Kaga did it first. So, Aaron, he is a, a tanky soldier. That's pretty much his gimmick. Um, he's got a ridiculously good skill, good defense, and pretty high strength. Like, 75% strength, 75% skill, and 70% defense is pretty good. And, yeah, sure, it makes him a little lopsided. He struggles doubling things. But if you want Aaron to become good, you can use this to your advantage by using bonus experience to cap out his stats. Because, of course, bonus experience gives three guaranteed level ups in this game. And he caps his strength, skill, and, and defense really quickly. 
So if you want to invest a whole bunch of bonus experience into him, you can make him pretty good because of that. But again, again, it requires you to actually invest into Aaron, which I think is a bit of a pitfall. Um, because, you know, there's just so many other better units in Radiant Dawn that can use that bonus experience and become great. But yeah, technically, I know someone's going to point it out that, yeah, you can use this to your advantage to cap him out and make him a really good unit. But I still think he's sort of mediocre at best. Um, like, there's some funny things you can do with him because he's got a lot of strength and he can use great lances. You can, like, put the Beast Slayer skill on him when you fa fa face the Tigers and he can, like, almost one-shot them if he's got enough strength. Uh, but it's, he's still a really tricky unit to use. Like, he's like an Armor Knight in Soldier format. Um, he doesn't have any skills, so that kind of sucks. Um, he goes with the Thunder Affinity, which is not super good. Um, yeah, he's just not fantastic. And, again, he just struggles with so many other things, like the other Dawn Brigade, guy, <laughs> Dawn Brigade guys does. Like, he just, the game outpaces him, uh, simply. And he's going to start getting doubled really quickly with that 10% speed, uh, 10 speed base and that 35% speed growth. Like, he's going to get doubled, and getting doubled really sucks in this game. Like, it's not about Aaron won't double, it's about will Aaron get doubled. That's how fucking slow this guy is. So, I, I rate Aaron 2 out of 5 stars. Yeah, I agree with the general sentiment. Just, just to point out how fast Aaron caps things, uh, keep in mind his growths look good, his bases actually aren't all that good. And to get benefit from bonus experience, you need to cap something, or else you're probably losing out overall, and you're probably not getting the most valuable stat, which is speed for him. Uh, he's capped skill at level 18 uh, oh. on average, so that in tier 1, keep that in mind, keep in tier 1, and, oh. tier, and he doesn't cap anything else. <laughs> like, uh, defense he caps at level 20, so when it's time to promote, he can bonus experience if you use Woo! this. But then he gets in tier 2, and his caps are increased, and then it takes until, like, level 7 before he caps defense, and then... He's capping strength and skill kind of soon. So in tier 2, it makes sense to bonus experience to use them. But at that, point, at that point, you've already put a lot of work into him, and you've been struggling for quite a bit. So it takes quite a bit of investment, like you said. It's not a very good way to fix Aaron at his worst point. I also like to point out, um, even though his defense, I mean, his base, I already said, is pretty shitty. Growth is good. His HP is actually garbage. Like, 24 is pretty bad. If this was any other game, again, it, it, this game is just so different from other games. If you've got, like, uh, in GBA Fire Emblem, if you got, like, a, uh, Aaron in Chapter 3, you'd be like, wow, 10 strength, so good, 10 speed, that's pretty decent, 11, 11 defense, well, pretty high. But in this game, it's just not very good, like, uh, it's kind of crappy. Also, the thing with Beast Foe, like, the Beast Slaying skill you were talking about, I think even with Cat's strength in Part 3, he doesn't one-shot any of the Lagoos, um, with like even with a forged lance or whatever or whatever the forge the strongest lance he can get is he doesn't one shot anything so it doesn't really do a whole lot for you and people i think like aaron because he is a tanky dom brigade unit and they point out that like akaya is very frail leonardo is pretty frail edward is kind of frail soth in part three is pretty frail uh Zyhark, who you get later is kind of frail so you, you have a very high need of tanks that's their argument but my argument is uh, there's no real point in having a tank that doesn't really do much. Like, Aaron's offense is just so bad that he's just kind of standing there, not doing much. So, um, the, just tanking on its own has no real value. It's nice that he has a bit of durability to him, but it's not actually so great. Like, when you get doubled by cats, you're, you're still going down in, like, three or four rounds overall. Tigers also, I think, like, three hit kill him on average. Depends on, like, his bonus experience and everything and how high a level you get him. But generally, I just don't find Aaron very useful. And again, you get so many broken tools in the Dawn Brigade, so many broken units uh, later on that you can use to build yourself out that I don't think there's really a point to Aaron. I prefer investing over units such as Jill that actually get you some long-term value over Aaron very much. But some people just really, really, really like Aaron. I don't know what it is about soldiers and irrational, irrational, <laughs> irrational love for a certain character, but some people just won't let go of Aaron, even though I think in a, like, in a fair setting where you compare everyone with equal resources or everything, it just doesn't look very good to me, so I will give him like two out of five stars. Again, where it is a normal Fire Emblem game, he will look pretty good with those bases and those growths, but this is not a normal Fire Emblem game. This is a very weird Fire Emblem game. I, I actually talked, yeah, I talked about it with uh, Kirby Master the other day. I was like, dude, if you sort, uh, if you like, take every Fire Emblem character in a certain, in any Fire Emblem game and you sort them by like how good they are, you will get them roughly in availability order, right? So you get the best units at the last point. And you get the worst units at the start. But Radiant Dawn, they're like all over the place. <laughs> oh, like yeah, yeah. Bad. You, you, you can get... take any unit in Radiant Dawn and put them in any random chapter, and they will be either super broken or super bad. And the game actually does this. <laughs> no other Oh, oh game yeah. Really like, like, hi, have a, have Nyla, a Lagoose Royal. Like, just, uh, she yeah. can solo the map. Have fun with <laughs> that. Have the, the fucking Black Knight. He can solo the map. It's like, what yeah. the hell? 
What the hell? Alright, yeah, but I think I would say maybe Aaron would have been a better unit on normal mode because you you would be literally bathe in bonus experience. But here, it, like just like in Path of Radiance Maniac mode, we have to we we have to be very stingy with it. Um, so yeah, uh, I want to make sure like I I'm not sure if this guy one shots Leonardo. No, he doesn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna he doesn't move either, so you can just kill the, the wounded guy with Leonardo. Uh, yeah, look at that, look at that, guys, look at yeah. that, good unit, right? Very good unit, everyone. I mean, you could shove her with Edward and kill the Armor Knight if you want to, but I think that puts her in range of a bunch of other enemies. Unvaluable, yeah, like, um, like the boss. No, there's there's a bunch of thickets here, so she's actually fine, I think, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's actually safe for her to stand here. So I I think I will actually do that because this guy doesn't move. I'm fairly certain. This guy is a one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, actually... What about the boss, though? Because he has a ranged weapon. He does, but it's a wind edge. Oh, right, right. Yeah, you're right. But yes, he's also he's also a cavalier. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I think he one-shots her. 19 attack. Uh, he probably does, yeah. Actually, no. Not with, um... Not with oh, the... right. The defense level up's OP. Uh, she's got 20 effective health, and she gets uh, one extra bonus. Uh, she gets one defense from the dark affinity with self... Does it, so. give, does it give defense now? Uh, uh, I fi um, Mikaya's Dark Affinity? No, wait! Fuck, it doesn't. My bad. It's damage and avoid. My bad. But she still survives. It's fine. Um, there we go. Well, I hope she one-shots. She does. That's sort of what the I thingy mean, does. I mean, the boss. Oh! Um, I don't think she does. she gets doubled. Oh. Oh. Oh! Uh, I hope she one-shots. Oh! Does she I mean, get? Does she she get, might. I don't know. I never try it. It's Thirteen like, speed. Thirty-six. Yeah. No, she. Yeah, she gets doubled. Um, it's kind of bad because I want to steal the discipline. 24. Twenty-four plus nine. That's thirty-three. Um, nope. Close, she, but no she, dice. She gets like she gets up to like thirty-five, thirty-six with Soth, but still. Yeah, I might. Re I'm, rally attack. <laughs> I might just. Um, I might just shove her out actually. But then Aaron might die. Um. Well, the f I need to do this first, I think. Or do I actually? Maybe I can use Edward for this. And then I can use Leonardo to, like, rescue her and Aaron to drop her off. I think I might just do that. Mm -hmm. If that's out of range for Leonardo, then that probably works. It is. It is. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Can they attack? They can attack over walls in this game, right? Uh, sometimes. I think this might be the, the thing we were remembering right, in Path of Range where they sometimes can do it. I think they this is one of those cases where it's sometimes. And I actually remember this wall. You probably can't attack over it. I'm pretty sure it's, like, attack-proof for some reason. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this with Edward. Edward. This, this guy... Oh, nice one. This guy does not move, so he'll just chuck a javelin at Edward. I think I'm just gonna do... Oh, wait. Alright, I'm gonna have to Aaron, use Aaron. Yeah. I'm gonna do Aaron. Aaron looks like a generic dude. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? <laughs> Mm. Uh, and then we're gonna do this. Too bad we can't get Soth within Micaiah's support, but that's fine, I guess. Um, I guess uh, maybe I can. Oh yeah, I know what I can do. Actually, I can do this. That way, at least I force a counterattack. So that's good. Oh yeah, that's okay, I guess. Hi. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, my discipline Wrecked. scroll. Wrecked. Wrecked. My discipline scroll. You need discipline. Ah, Soth. <laughs> good job, Soth. I think he only needs one crit, but that was still pretty funny. Ah, uh, uh, gross. Yeah, he's he gro such he's gross. Gross, and he gets that level up. Nice. Uh, actually, his growth rates aren't that great. Uh, I remember them being better than just an average of two things level up. Um, maybe a little bit. sixty percent strength, eighty percent skill, forty-five speed, sixty-five luck, fifty percent concentrated power will. <laughs> Thirty percent concentrated power with HP. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start to direct uh, the green units now because you actually need to sort of do that eventually. Funny Bob. Because yeah. because yeah. they they just stand there and do nothing on their own. All right, time for Micaiah to get magic, luck, and resistance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always direct uh, Kurth and Amy to the Strength? left corner. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> I mean, does the Thaney... Nope, it does not help her in any way. That's the most for useless, useless... I don't know why there's a personal tome for Mikai in a random chest in 1-2. Yeah, it's it like, I found this Thaney tome that only I can use. 
Okay. <laughs> is it the Dawn Brigade? Is it the Dawn Brigade? Is it the Dawn Brigade? Wow. Yeah. It is. This is the Dawn Brigade. <laughs> yeah. But like I was saying, like, it usually directs um, the two NPCs to the upper left, and then I can just go right, and then Kurth survives forever because his HP is amazing. He just distracts all these enemies that you went through the trouble of killing. You can use Kurth to, to tank a lot of the enemies, actually, which is kind of funny. Amy dies really fast, though. But... Amy dies, but like, whatever. It's reliable because the right part is so easy to kill with so, so many choke points and everything. Yes, yeah, so I think at some point these guys start charging you. Um, mm -hmm. I think when I... the reinforcements show up. Yeah. I can't remember, like, I, I usually like to place the unit in a thicket right here to have them, uh, like, weaken these guys a little bit. I think I might do that. Can you attack through it or not? We should you can, you can, okay. you can attack. But they can too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just, just get fucking one-shot by an archer. Okay. <laughs> I'm an archer. I'm an, <laughs> I'm an archer. <laughs> Doga dislikes vultures. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna do this. Feed some kills to uh, I don't know, fucking a bad unit. A I bad like unit. It. Yeah, let's feed some. Why not feed a kill to a good unit like so? Maybe Leonardo can get defense or something. I don't know. <laughs> so he stops if getting he had an one iron shot. Missed, he would have died. <laughs> oh my god, this is true. Oh, oh. strength. Woohoo! Not skill. You know, it's like his best thing. Yeah, but I'll, I'll I guess I'll shove so. Why not? Hey, the more enemies can get to so, the more enemies die. This is true, and I'm definitely gonna take advantage of, like, I'm gonna see if I can... I'm gonna put Micaiah here, might as well sacrifice a little bit, why not? And then I'm gonna put so here... Casual just... sacrifices. Yeah, casual sacrifice. I'm gonna put him here in the bush. I actually got an yeah. energy drop. Do you have any idea who should get that? Should I just put it on... I, mean, uh... I just give everything to Jill. <laughs> Never ask me what, what to give a stab, who to give a stab booster for. I just say Jill. <laughs> yeah, you really like Jill, holy shit. <laughs> I like making Jill super broken, Two, so three, I can get four, these parts five. over with. You really do. Um, uh, alternatively, we can do know. we can Depends do that if you want to. You, you I can guess. give it to the the grill mercenaries, and then when Defton joins up, you give it to him. That that <laughs> idea I like. <laughs> that idea I liked a lot. Give it to Laura, so she can lift tomes without losing speed. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Maybe she doesn't get double. Oh wait, she will. Uh, besides that, um, are know, you maybe fucking someone comes kidding like, really me? Close to capping string. <laughs> Who cares? She it's a healer. <laughs> But she has, like, insane growths. Oh, yeah, well, she wants to prove a point. Yeah, not don't use her. She's like the double I mean, axe. It, it still depends on who you want to field, yeah. <laughs> like, if you want to use, like, use, like, some really bad unit, like Fiona, I should probably give it to her. Oh, my God, Fiona. She's so high on the pole. I hate that. <laughs> probably for mean reasons. Okay, buy card. Uh, yeah. Rip another thing I would have sold. Yeah. So... It's no fine. Yeah, I guess. I just gotta think a little bit. So I want to kill this guy. Wow, nice pick rights, nerd. Forests. I actually think Edward doubles and one runs this guy. Mm, almost, close. almost. He um, also almost dies. If he gets hit, he gets into wrath. Probably kills. Yeah. But then he's in range of a couple of things. I'm wondering if I should like, if it's worth. I, I don't think uh, Micaiah. I don't think Micaiah gets one shot by the longbow. I think. Uh. I think she does. Twenty-two attack is a lot. Oh yeah, I guess. I guess what I can do is I can Thaney and I can shove her back. And then you can put, you can shove her back with Salt or something. Yeah, yeah, because he kills everything on enemy face anyway. But doesn't kill this guy. Yeah, that's fair or, enough. Or, like... or even better, I can kill the longbow archer with Soth and see if I can kill the fighter. Yeah, I think Eliana might double the fighter, but you're gonna need some shaky, shaky hit rates to hit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see right now. So this guy will probably die. No, she does not one round, but she has pretty rely. Like Edward can kill him. Yeah, I'm pretty confident about this move. Uh, but before I do this, though, you I try wanna... to you try to more risky things before you move Micaiah. You can you can also direct with Micaiah after she moves, so you don't. Oh have to do right, this. now I'm pretty confident I want to do this anyway, so it's fine. I'm pretty confident you're gonna miss now. Um, we shall see. Oh wait, can I even kill this guy with the bronze dagger? Yeah, I can. Exactly. Uh, uh, thanks to the damage yep. bonus from the affinity. The other archer doesn't have a longbow, right? He does not. And so this this tree is blocking, so the, I only deal need to deal with this fighter now, which I should be. I need to shove Edward, though. So, hey, Leonardo, make yourself useful, I guess. There we go. I love shove. I love shove so much. Shove. Shove. Sho <laughs> oh, ow. No wrath. Rip. Ow, 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 ow. And then I guess we go with uh, Thunder. Nice hit rates. Thank you. I wonder if I can maybe shove Laura in range to heal. That'd be nice. I think I will do that. Look, oh my god, I thought I, thought I shoved... I, experience. I thought I shoved Amy. That'd be funny. Um, 
There we go, and then I guess um, Aaron can chip this guy a little bit. Why not? Actually, that's not a good idea. He could... Ah, me... Ah, why not? I don't know if two archers can kill him. Probably not, because the... Uh... Probably. No, because the Mervinal's blocking the way anyway. Yeah, but he might suicide, so I'm... Why, why do it? Why risk it? Why risk it for the biscuit, you know? This doesn't sound like I'm Ah, uh, I'm, I'm... Planning out turn one? I know, like, right? Just playing it safe? I mean, I want to show that I get better too, you know? I love I mean, the support, it's, though. It's, it's great. Been, it's, it's been better than FE10 than, than he ever played previous <laughs> FE10 so far. So. Wow, with such threatening reinforcements. I remember to be much more. But maybe you're just playing too quickly. I think I'm just playing too fast. Too I think your Edward is too good. My Edward is too fucking good. And I want this vulnerary. I want to steal something at the very least. Very sad thing is, <laughs> you're still going to get a bitter Zyhark. <laughs> I, know, I know I said it didn't matter, but like... Oh, uh, yeah, you're probably right. Can always use both. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess. There you go. And then we can get a kill with Micaiah. Uh, I, I, a bunch of guys have messaged me saying that, like, if you play the Black Knight Micaiah chapter correctly, you can get her to 20. But I always, in my experience, like, she just dies. So it's better to just kill everything with the Black Knight. Oh, for sure. Like, even level 20 Micaiah can die to, like, two enemies. It's really even annoying. Like, she's like reasonably trained, but not level 20. She just still gets one round kills by the It's so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people say, like, if you unequip the Black No, I think still think they go for Micaiah. <laughs> unequip here. the Black Knights. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I get the best. Oh, no, uh... generic soldier. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are there no doing? escape quotes in this game? Oh, well, they were probably lazy. I guess. Right. More enemies coming? All oh, right, so wow. we're on. It's too easy. I think there's, like, more coming at some point. Not in this playthrough. Not in this playthrough, yeah. So I might as well. I. Th you gotta wait another turn for Kurth, though. Yeah, so I might as well heal with. Uh, might yeah. as well heal with Laura. I just want it. you to prove the point that even if you sacrifice and you every turn with Makaya and Laura, you're still not getting anywhere near the levels they need to be. To I know, them. right? I know. It's so sad too because it, you think that would be the most optimal way to play, right? Makes me think that this game is like rushed in development in some cases. Oh, kind of like a Path of Radiance Maniac mode. Hmm, what a coincidence. <laughs> they actually took it out, I think, because Japanese players complained about Maniac mode. <laughs> right. They like so, letters. So that is uh, Chapter 1 to 3, cleared in 9 turns with maximum bonus experience. I think that's 320 bonus experience. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go. Yeah. Two levels for Jill. No fails. <laughs> Thank you so much, all of you. We get Amy. The base. The, the base. base. The base. The base. All the about bonuses. the base. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're all about that base. About that base. No trouble. Oh, I hate, I hate that song. Why is it so catchy? Ugh. Um, all right, Mecca, what should they do? Like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. And join us in the next part of Let's Play Radiant Dawn Maniac Mode. Meg. I Iron Mode. No, I'm just joking. Bye. Meg. Meg. Shut up, Meg. Meg. <laughs>